should the Chicago Bulls make a move for at the trade deadline? What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Some man being here to talk about the Chicago Bulls. So if you are a Bulls fan, hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on my social media platforms and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video because I do so every single day. Make sure you're locked in here. So, All right, people, the trade it. deadline is a month away and we got to talk business. We got to talk business because here's the thing. The Bulls are number one in the East. I get that. But we're dealing with injuries. Uh, Derrick Jones Jr. is out for uh, four to six weeks now. Lost to some contending teams. And it really does seem like the Bulls need to keep the foot on the gas and continually try to improve this team. Right? I want to go from, you know, like this fringe contender, uh, shot in the dark, dark horse title contender team to legitimate title contender team. And we only do that if we make a move at the deadline. Now, there are a couple of players that a lot of you guys, a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people on social media, by the way, follow me on there, have mentioned as prime trade candidates for the Bulls. So let's break down who those people are. But before we even do that, we got to talk about this roster construction itself, all right? So I'm going to break down the roster for you right here, and then we're going to get into these trades. All right, folks, here we go. Taking a look at the Bulls roster. As you can tell, I've highlighted one position group, all right? And by the way, this isn't the full roster because I'm only talking about guys that are in the rotation because when you get to the playoffs, all that matters is the top seven, eight guys, because those are the guys that are going to get playing time. You don't really care about the 11th or 12th man on the roster because they're just not going to play when it matters. So these are the guys that are in the rotation. And you see at the power forward spot, you're starting guys like Javante Green and Derrick Dar Jones Jr. Now, Derrick Jones Jr. are going to be out for a little bit, but he is who was starting at that spot. And he's going to play back up center at times too. That's a weakness right there, folks. DJJ and Javante Green, they're not fours, and they're not even starting fours in this league. And that is a clear position of upgrade. You need a starting four. So I'm just going to say starting power forward. That is your number one need at this point. You're good at the other positions. You've got guard depth. You've got DeRozan. Ayo's been coming on, and Vooch is there. So your center spot is set. I know Tony Bradley, again, he's been in and out. You could use a backup center, maybe another wing, you know, for some more depth. But for the most part, for the most part, starting power forward is the biggest need. So let's take a look at who can fill that role here with, you know, who the Bulls can trade for, right? And there's a bunch of guys that have come across on social media that I've seen that you guys have mentioned as well. One of the guys that are the most popular that Bulls fans mentioned is Christian Wood. Christian Wood plays on the Houston Rockets. He plays both the four and the five spot. Uh, he's a good player. Uh, almost a double-double machine pretty much. He, he's had a very solid year this year. He he was uh, on the Pistons and then he had a breakout year and then he signed with the uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, well, Christian Wood is nice, and he would definitely be a great upgrade on this team. Absolutely would start at the four, or, or, or absolutely would be a starter on the team. But I have two problems with Christian Wood. Number one, Christian Wood has one year left on his deal, and after that, he's going to want money. And not just decent money, he's going to want big money. So Christian Wood is going to be looking to get paid. Well, we've already got three guys and four guys here that take up a lot of our, our money, so... Are you willing to to dole out this much money to your fourth best, potentially fifth best, if you consider Lonzo better than him, player, right? So that's the question that you ask. And then the second thing is, again, this might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but you know, I, I look at everything. Christian Wood had a little bit of a um, dispute with his, with his head coach, and he got suspended. So did Kevin Porter Jr. And again, I know that might not seem like much, but I'm looking to bring in good locker room guys, good chemistry guys. And I'm not saying that one incident makes him a bad guy, but what I am saying is, you know, if he's got issues and he's on a losing team, how how is he going to be when he comes to Chicago? That's why I didn't want Boogie Cousins when he was available when the Bucks cut him because I just don't want any guys that aren't good locker room guys. Chemistry is huge when you're on a championship contending team, folks. Uh, so to me, that's another thing. Uh, but more importantly, he's going to cost you a pretty penny. 
Christian Wood is going to cost you a lot, and the Rockets aren't just going to trade him for nothing. So that's another thing you have to uh, keep into account. But for the most part, I'm going to say the two most important things he's going to look to get paid, and then capital to get him is going to be a lot. Okay? Another guy that you guys always mention that I see everywhere is Jeremy Grant. I love Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant, again, plays on the Pistons. He can play that four. He can't really play five. Well, it would be a small ball center. But at that four spot, he'd be perfect. And he's a guy who's improved a lot from the Nuggets days. He used to be a bench player for the Nuggets, and he's a damn near 20-point scorer. Jeremy Grant, as far as his deal, he's got one more year left on his deal at $21 million. Um, so to me, again, he's also going to want to get money. And also, he is going to cost you a lot as well. The Pistons are going to just trade him for nothing. All right? So what are you willing to give up for Jeremy Grant? Keep that in mind. So let me just go through the guys, and I'll give you guys my favorite players, okay? So uh, another guy that I've been looking at, maybe you guys haven't thought about him, Robert Covington, Portland Trailblazers. Um, he can play the four. He can play, again, small ball five. He can play the three. Very, very versatile. He's a three and D guy. That means he's a good three-point shooter, and he can defend multiple positions. You love that. And with him, he's actually on an expiring deal. And I love the fact that he can be had for cheap. So, again, he's going to hit free agency next year, and then you're not going to have to pay him big money. And then you are basically – uh, not going to be able to get, give up a lot, right? So no capital, pretty much. Uh, I don't think the Blazers will ask for a lot for Robert coming in. He's been moved around quite a bit. Uh, and then a couple more guys, Montrez Harrell. Uh, I know a lot of people haven't talked about him, but again, backup center for the Wizards. He is a scoring machine as a backup. Uh, does not play defense, so not a great defender. He is, I believe, an expiring contract as well, and he can probably be had for cheap, so no capital and then finally another guy i'm looking at is kevin love again he's on the Cavs. obviously they're having a fantastic year he's got one more year left on his deal at 29 million dollars but again how much is he going to cost to get kevin love still considered a big not name player and then is he going to be looking to get paid again i can't imagine he's a bench player now but still it, the possibility is there so these are the guys that i'm looking at here and to me all right Clearly, we have scoring. We don't need scoring on the roster. We need guys who can defend, who can shoot. All right? Scoring is taken care of. Levine, DeRozan, Vooch, more than enough. You need guys that don't need the ball in their hands to be effective. That is where I believe Kevin Love, again, wouldn't mind him, but not a great defender. So I forgot to put that on here. And... He just scores, and we don't need that. We don't need scoring. Kevin Love is a buyout candidate. Wouldn't mind that at all. So, Kevin Love, no, thank you. Montrez Hill, again, I wouldn't mind him, but he's more of a backup center, not a four, not very versatile, and no defense. All right? Christian Wood, again, he'd be a great fit, but what capital do you have to give up for him? Keep that in mind. So, as far as our trade assets, folks, who do you have to trade? Well, let's be honest. You're not going to give trash to get a good player. You have to give up something. You've got your draft picks, and you've got Kobe White. You've got Patrick Williams, potentially, and you've got the bench players, right? I don't think you want to trade Io, so maybe Troy Brown Jr. You could trade Io. Troy Brown Jr., Derrick Jones Jr. Uh, so it's not that great. So to me, I'm willing to move Kobe White because you don't really have much else. Or else you just have to give up draft picks. Christian Wood and Jeremy Grant are going to cost you Kobe, one of or more of Kobe White, Patrick Williams, potentially Io DeSumo. Maybe you can have him for a draft pick, but I would imagine those teams are going to want a gun player in return. For sure, I think for Jeremy Grant, you're going to have to give up Patrick Williams or something like that. Are you willing to give that up? Pat Patrick Williams is still only 20 years old. On a, on a rookie deal. And he would have been our starting four if he didn't get hurt. So, for those reasons, I'm saying Christian Wynn and Jeremy Grant are going to cost you a lot. I don't want to give that up. Only one player left. This is my target. Robert Covington. All right? 
is on an expiring deal. So you can let him go after this year or you can sign him to a new deal. He can play the exact position you need and more. Okay, you're not going to have to give up a lot for him. I don't think you have to give up Patrick Williams. Io, you can literally give up draft picks for him. And at this point, I'm willing to give up our draft picks over players because we're trying to win a title. And he plays defense. He can hit the three ball. He's pretty much everything the Bulls need. The Blazers could be looking to rebuild. They're not having a great year. Damian Lillard's out with surgery. CJ McCollum's been out for a while. They look like they could be tanking. Maybe go ahead and call them and ask for Robert Covington. That would be my target at the trade deadline, Robert Covington, folks. So let me know what you guys think about him. Is there anyone else who you would target for the Bulls? I want Robert Covington. I think he is exactly what this team needs. He would slot in at that four spot. And man, I know he's not a big name, folks, but he would make a huge difference to this team. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.